Welcome back to Turning Hard Times into Good Times. I'm your host, Jay Taylor, and I'm really glad to have with me my friend and colleague, Chen Lin. Um, you know, Chen uh, has had considerable success, as you know, investing in all manner of markets. And uh, I want to tell you that to sign up for Chen's letter, you need now to go to ChenPicks.com. ChenPicks, C-H-E-N-P-I-C-K-S.com. Welcome, Chen, and thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Jay, for inviting me. Always good to have you with me, and we should do it more often. Uh, the only impediment is time, Chen. It's difficult to find enough time. Uh, but in any event, uh, I'd like to ask you a little bit about your views on some of the key markets that I know you're focused on, uh, starting with the one that we are most focused on, and that is gold. What are you seeing for gold in 2017? Uh, I see potentially 2017 could be uh could be a difficult year for gold, but it will be a good year uh, to to accumulate stocks for the long run. Uh, the the reason is that there's a couple of reasons, right? The U.S. dollar is breaking out. And one hundred dollar, if you put a one hundred dollar of U.S. dollar index, is breaking out right. clearly. That's uh, and there the the reason behind it is uh, you know interest rate in the U.S. is rising. The bond you know uh, bond is uh, very weak after. Trump election, so the uh, then there's the interest rate differential. You know, U.S. interest rate is higher than Europe, and then people moving money into United States. Also, there's a fleeing money fleeing from other emerging market like from China. You know, Chinese uh, foreign reserve barely uh, maintains three trillion U.S. dollar uh-huh. at right. last year, end of last year. It was almost four trillion. Two, two years ago. So people continue to pulling money into U.S. dollar. That's the headwind with, with, mm-hmm. with gold. However, gold. I, as we as I discussed in my outlook, I see uh, gold mining is different. It will be a stock picker's market because even gold flat or slightly weakened, uh, if company operating in a country that have a weakened currency, so they can still generate a very good profit. So it will be stock pickers market. I see it could be a difficult year, but it could be the the last difficult year. I hope it will be a last difficult year, because usually the U.S. dollar bull market lasts about six years, and 2017 is fifth year. So we're getting pretty close to the end. I hope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see. Obviously, uh, what's good for some is bad for others, and so on and so forth. But you've been managed to make money in uh, in in all manners of markets, but. Uh, before we get into a couple of the other sectors that you really like to focus on, uh, name a, a gold stock or two that you're really, really uh, most favorable towards. Well, I'm still sticking with the producer. I like the Oceana Gold, for example. Mm-hmm. I've had it for a very long time. It's been one of the best per- performers. And Pritian is another. Uh, juniors. I, I have I own a Nova Resource. It, it sounds mm-hmm. a very uh, interesting company, especially with mm-hmm. the blue specs. Results yeah. coming, I heard in a few weeks. That's a very, uh, very good, you know, stock to watch. And then GoQuest, actually, today they, f- they have a new discovery, right? Could, could, could that be the next r- tomorrow, right? So, yeah, the, sure. The, all these, all these are, are, are questions. The stock pickers market, and I monitor a lot of different stocks, uh, in, in both producers and, uh, exploration company. Mm hmm. All right. Well, there's a, a lots, lots to watch in the gold sector for sure. But you, uh, you are really also very much f- uh, focused on biotech. Uh, how is that looking to you? And again, I, th- I think in general you can't really pick a sector in general. You really focus in on individual stocks from the bottom up and figure out, uh, you know, what is good to put your money into. So, but what, just some general comments on biotech and, and a couple of your favorites there as we, uh, as we get started here in 2017. Yeah, the the biotech is a very interesting. It's beating down very badly last year due to the presidential election. Going forward with the Trump presidency, you know, new president, and they could be change. People are hoping for change. And then there's a baby woman retiring. Oh, we all need a better medicine to cure all these incurable diseases, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean, I recently I got back in big time of Sarepta, which is my my favorite. And today, actually, as I'm Looking, it's up about twenty three percent. I just the, the, wow. they just announced uh, uh, the 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 data, you know, patient data. It, it's a very volatile stock. Last time I sold at fifty nine when the insurance remember insurance problem coming up, and then sure. the, the short just killing it, push all the way to twenty nine. That's where where I was buying. 
uh, back again, and then today it's uh, go to a thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, I see it's up up over seven bucks here today as I look at it at thirty eight fifty three. Wow! And I thought you were suggesting it might be a bad day for the stock today, Chen, but it turned out to be good, huh? I was very cautious, but I still closed my eye. I was buying a, a twenty nine when tax loss happened last last a few weeks ago. Uh-huh. Because I feel it, it will be a bad news, but it's pretty much pricing because from fifty nine to twenty nine, right? So there's a four analyst downgrade, four analyst downgrade. You think about that. Everybody wants to sell or they sold. So I would say, okay, that's it. I'm buying. <laughs> so, and today, it, actually, it's a pretty bad, but it's just slightly better than the worst, you know, the reduced estimate of analysts. That's why it went up so much. Oh, interesting. All right. So uh, that, that's uh, the biotech. And, and again, uh, to keep track of all that Chen is doing, and he, and he sends out frequent updates, um, you know, many times more than one a day, uh, you need to go to ChenPicks.com. Well, one more sector I know you're very hot on this year, uh, the energy sector. Chen Energy had a good year last year. Can oil and uh, well, what, are, what are your comments on energy going into this year? Yeah, I, I see uh, the Trump will be friendly with Russia. The oil price likely uh, stay high, but not very high because the fracking Revolution. So anything over sixty dollars, the fracking will be generating a lot of oil. I don't think it will be uh, will be that high. Probably around fifty dollar. Uh, still, the strategy is the same as last year. I stay with uh, like natural gas as selected area, uh, which uh, company have very high margin. Mm-hmm. I, so uh, uh, the, so I, I've been working. Uh, part of it is because the market sentiment has been changing. Right? We were just talking before the show uh, last year. Uh, we got this Ukraine stock, uh, Cup Energy. I mean, I went there right. for a visit. It was two cents. And today, I'm trading at seven cents. I mean, just like two, three months, right? That that's a. Uh, it just uh, it just started moving. I know so heavily. Also, my my largest energy position still is the Pan Orient. I have been holding that for five years, and this year it's going to drill the big target. Um, Hope I'm cautiously optimistic about that because the stock has a, almost one dollar in cash. And the CEO is a gold bug, which I really respect, and he's very careful about the balance sheet. So I buy and hold for five years. Stock has a move if you consider the dividend. You know, with a dividend, without dividend, stock job, but with a dividend, it's a slightly up for me. You know, mm-hmm. five years, for, but right now this year will be the year. I hope. So are you seeing the possibility of a, of a real breakout in terms of a discovery here, Chen? With yeah, the drilling, and it's off. Is it in Thailand or where? Where is it's it? It's in Indonesia. It's in Indonesia, Indonesia right? They were in one Thailand. One of the largest uh, conventional uh, onshore oil discovery in the world. Okay, so uh-huh. uh, so they 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 have forty nine point nine percent. It's carried by this uh, largest uh, of, of a large oil you know, international oil company. You know, so it used to be Talisman, but got bought by the Span uh, Repaso, right? So so it's a big company. It's kind of moving slow. It's supposed to drill last year. Now push into Q one. Uh, now they're saying the the end of Q1, which is uh, two months from now. I, I doubt maybe we we'll, we'll got a little bit pushed a little bit later, but it's there. You know, you need to build a road. There used to be a national park. There's no road there. You know, global warming, the sea level rose, so that it's no longer national park. That's why Iran got that big concession during the. Uh, the 2008 financial crisis. That's why I, I own the stock for five years. <laughs> huh. so, interesting. Very interesting. That's a, that's, that's well, a and, and this is a company that doesn't dilute. I mean, they're not issuing shares. They live off their cash flow, and they don't. Yeah, they don't they live really off their cash flow. It's uh, they buying back shares they, in the past yeah. year. They pay dividend. It's one yeah. of those energy company that actually didn't really take into, using leverage, taking on that. You know, partially because of management. Yeah, you know, Jeff Chisholm, he's a go bug. That's when I know he's a go bug, I got interested because go bug is the most conservative people I know, you know, like you, like many, many, many of my friends. So that, that's why I own, own the stock for so many years. Chen, with about a minute and a half or so left, Canical Energy uh, was one that did very, very well for you last year. Do you still like it? Yeah, I still like it. It's a Colombian natural gas. Uh, they're doing some kind of financing. Uh, to refinance their debt, I don't. I know I'm not saying financing is no. I don't think it's a dilution, dilutive financing. Potentially, uh-huh. could sometimes could be warring exchange, but I do not know. But uh, according to all the analyst report, they they supposedly doing a, a, a financing of their debt in the first two months of this year. I think once it's gone, I think the 
you know, the, the, the cap of the stock could be removed. And they have a lot of drilling uh, target this year from oil, from shell oil, from uh, natural gas, and then they, they're going to uh, triple their natural gas production in, in a few years. So very, very exciting, very exciting yeah. company. I still like and, it. And making a lot of money, I guess, huh? Yeah, their their margin is very very high. They their margin eighty percent. You know, you name another energy company that has eighty percent profit yeah. margin. Yeah. They usually have twenty yeah. percent, maybe ten percent, right? So, and and you see uh, both Cub and Canical having a growth prospects quite a bit. Yes, yes. Uh, Cub Cub is is a Ukraine. I've been there. Yes. I was there. You go to my website. I have the pictures on of my uh-huh. visit. Uh, so. Uh, the, the, they pre-war, they ran out of producing about half of what they used to produce before the war. And then they have all the infrastructure. Natural gas, you need infrastructure, you need compressor, you need all these cooler, all these things. But infrastructure already in place. Nothing was, uh, damaged or, at all within the war because they're just oh. close to the war zone, right? So all their engineer has to be evacuated. So, uh, but now it's a back to business and then using, they, they use this. A uh, process to increase their percentage of the con- uh, of the concession. They they get a new concession. They they build a lot of things. I see they can go back to pre war level. And the stock was trading at twenty thirty cents at that time. Plus they have more more now, right? They own more five uh, percent uh, more than they used to. And then with another option to increase another five percent. So to all right, good. Search, yeah, we'll have to leave it go at that. Chen sounds exciting. And again, folks, it's ChenPicks dot com. ChenPicks dot com. 